What's up, everybody? It's Kuji once again, and this is my Detroit 187 TV review. Now, for those who do not know Detroit 187 or want to see Detroit 187, it comes on every Tuesday, every Tuesday. So let you know, let you guys know that 10 p.m. on ABC. I repeat, every Tuesday on ABC, 10 p.m. So that's the time and channel and the day. All right. So I'm going to give you my thoughts about the show and everything, about the first episode. Now, I will let everybody know, it did not. the first episode did not take place in Detroit. It took place in Atlanta for some, for, for some, diff, for some reasons going on. But still, so the first episode, Detroit 187, I would have to say it was average, in my opinion. It was really an average show. They just show you some bad parts and they show you some good parts. I mean, the good parts about, you know... You know, it's cool to see a crime, a crime drama show. You know, I do find crime drama shows interesting, but at the same time, it really shows some crap into the, into um, the crime drama show. And what I find, when I find, what I find is, blah. I've been saying it many times and can't even get my thoughts out. But what I'm trying to say is that what I find really interesting is that, okay. Uh, in the TV, like the narrator, he's saying that <clears throat> Detroit is the murder capital all ac like across the the country, the United States. But that's not true, you know. Even my parents would say that, and and you check on the internet, you know, you can even check it on Wikipedia. It says that it. I mean, it doesn't say that it's the murder capital. Baltimore has more mur has more murders in their city. Than Detroit has, so why would you call Detroit the murder capital? I mean, sure, it has a lot of, has a lot, of, it has crime in there, and it has a lot of, you know, people who rape people in Detroit and kill in Detroit. You know, still, you know, all that other stuff in Detroit. You know, but still, it's not the murder capital, so yeah, so it doesn't make any sense. But overall, I, it's not really surprising how it is and. How you know? I know there's some diverse in you know this whole detect detective thing. You know, you got you got few white people there. You got blacks and you got one Arab and you have one Hispanic. I mean, it makes some diverse, but nothing really changed. I mean, you got black guy, Detective Washington, who has a who's always talking to his girlfriend like every single time, and he's a rookie and he acts like he has no experience. But you have this white guy, Detective, what's his name, Detective. Lewis F Flitch or whatever Detective Lewis, who's a veteran at this, and he's supposed to be like the calm, the calm, good, straight, experienced guy, twenty year old, twenty twenty year veteran, you know, right here, twenty year veteran. So he's supposed to win. I I don't get it, but still, like, uh, to me, still, it's watchable. I mean, I I would say it's watchable, you know, but. I watch I watch the next episode to see how it is, but I would say I'm not really surprised that you know what's gonna happen next week. And um, I heard about the I know I mean I found, um I saw uh um <clears throat> uh some uh, a quote that that the 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 Detroit 187's ex executive producer actually said he stated about the about the show and he said it uh, like this he said that um. And his name is David Sabir, Sabel, Sabel. Just to let y'all know, he was saying that um that that this this is a crime show, but we will explore various nooks and crannies in the communities. He saw about Detroit, basically. If you guys know that, and within the context, there's a lot of opportunity to see what's positive in the city and see what's heroic. About the people fighting for what's best for the city of Detroit. So that's so he's so he states that that was David Sabell's words right there. What I don't get is that okay. Um, last time I checked, Detroit's not really doing well. So so why is the, why they talk about cops around here? I mean, I don't really know why. I mean, as I see it right now about Detroit one eight seven. I will see this uh, probably go go off probably like the like uh, at least at, le at least to stay there for like for three years or or less you know because like, I can't see this go on more than th five years to be honest 
But yeah, but um, that's what I got to say about Detroit 187. If you want to see it, you know, go ahead and see it every Tuesday, 10 p.m. on ABC. All right? All right? And, and I got something to say. Watch the event, all right? Watch the event every Monday, ABC, 9 p.m., all right? It's really good, all right? And don't watch Hellcats. Hellcats is an awful show. No, really, it's an awful show, all right? That's all I got to say. And, um, yeah, and for people who have a PS3, my, PS, my PS3 name is GDA4263. I repeat, GDA4263, all right? Contact me on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. Skype me, Ella Cool JJJ Jabari. Y'all know who it is. And check out the Sports News Today show this Saturday, 6 p.m., all right? I'm out. Peace.